I'm Dr. Rachel Dolan, a movement disorder specialist and vice president of medical communications at the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. Today I'll be discussing genetic testing in Parkinson's. Two decades ago, a genetic connection to Parkinson's was discovered, and since that time, additional mutations have been identified that either cause or increase risk for Parkinson's. Only about 10% of people have a single genetic mutation as the cause of their Parkinson's, but genetic research is leading us to better understanding of Parkinson's, as well as to new therapies that are in clinical testing to slow or stop the progression of disease. The revolution in genetics and personal access to healthcare information is increasing interest to genetic testing among people both with and without Parkinson's. Some people with Parkinson's want to know whether it runs in their family. Other people who have a family member with Parkinson's want to know if they might be at risk. And still other people who don't know anybody with Parkinson's just want to know about their general health status. At this time, genetic testing is most commonly done in the context of a research study, but it can be done through your movement disorder specialist office or an online service. The reason it's most commonly done for research is because the results don't currently change clinical management. If you have Parkinson's, knowing you have a genetic mutation doesn't necessarily change the treatment and it doesn't tell you much about your symptoms or your future course. If you don't have Parkinson's but you learn you have a mutation, that doesn't necessarily guarantee you'll get the disease. Some people argue that in the absence of curative or preventive therapies for Parkinson's, they'd rather not know their risk. Although this information has directed some to make healthier lifestyle changes and participate in clinical research. Genetic testing as part of research is extremely valuable. This information can tell researchers about the underlying mechanisms of disease, how certain mutations correlate with specific symptoms of Parkinson's, and why certain people with mutations go on to develop disease whereas others don't. It's worth noting that if you want to participate in research but don't want to find out the results of your genetic testing, you can choose not to in many studies. Because genetic testing can be an emotional and complicated topic with potential implications for both you and your family, it's a very personal decision. For those reasons, it can be worth consulting a genetic counselor, which is a medical professional with expertise in medical genetics. A genetic counselor can walk you through what genetic testing both can and can't tell you. They can tell you about your risk for certain Parkinson's mutations, as well as your risk for Parkinson's in general, given your family history of the disease. And they can also talk with you about the implications of the testing for your family, future employment, and also certain forms of insurance, including disability, life insurance, and long-term care coverage. Once you have your results, your genetic counselor can interpret them for you and tell you exactly what they mean for you and your family. You can learn more about genetic testing and other topics in Parkinson's by visiting our website.